Professor Boris Frederick Skinner, a pioneer in behavioral psychology, spent the whole day with pigeons near a mill located in Minneapolis, not in a university laboratory. The pigeons were a good subject of experiment because they could be easily caught sitting on the windowsill. One day, Professor Skinner's team decided to teach pigeons bowling. Their intention was to let the pigeon roll any ball with the act of moving the beak sideways and not the pin down. They put a ball and a pigeon in the box and waited, preparing a feeding basket for the pigeon to provide when it moved its beak sideways. But nothing happened. They were getting tired out. So they decided to try to induce basic movements similar to hitting. They initially wanted to make the pigeon look at the ball and gradually planned to make it to something similar to a slap. The results were quite amazing. Within minutes the pigeons began hitting the ball with their beaks like professional squash players. Skinner was able to train faster by only waiting for the animals to do the simple action, instead of waiting for them to do the complex actions. It's a step approach that starts with a very simple action and connects it to a more and more similar action to the desired final action. There's something we'll learn from this example of animal experiment, which was later named shaping. It means that if we divide the goal into smaller parts, we are more likely to succeed than when we set a big goal from the start. Challenging a big goal from the start is easy to fail. Divide large goals into smaller units and achieve these little goals one by one. This is a wise way to achieve big goals.